The journey of a thousand miles begins with a single step, and every great journey begins with a vision and a mission. Seeing children and families who endure the risks and the difficult circumstances, living and working in the streets, the Institute of the Daughters of Mary Help of Christians took upon itself to meaningfully respond to this sore reality by establishing the Laura Vicuña Foundation. It was in the late uh, 1980s when the proliferation of street children came about. And at that time, our provincial superior, Sister Ana Maria Machusi, was confronted with the stark in reality. And that started the reflection of the congregation. It was there that Laura Vicuña Foundation was born. Our goal is to help rebuild the lives of children in need of special protection or in difficult circumstances. The Salesian sisters, with their dedication to immerse deeply in the lives of street children, sought various solutions to alleviate the situation and viewed the phenomenon of street children in its broader context and adjust the Foundation's approaches to respond more meaningfully to the situation. When we first started, we targeted the street children, but when we saw that there were related problems like traffic children, the working children, that's why we came up with the uh, Integrated Development Program for Street Children, which we dubbed as the Journey of Hope. Guided with love, compassion, and value for life, the Journey of Hope project embraces holistic and innovative programs addressing the rights of children. It has since implemented and sustained responsive and innovative interventions, such as the Child Protection Clinic on Wheels, Youth Helping Youth, or YEHE, Vocational and Technical Education Program, Community Mobilization for Education, or CUM project in Negros Occidental, and a residential program for sexually abused girls. These programs respond not only to the children and youth at risk, but to their families as well. Urban poor communities are usually exposed to violence, lack of access to education, economic opportunities, access to health services, responsible parenting and decent housing. Laura Vicuña Foundation chose these areas to spark awareness raising on the youth and children's rights, their duties, and advocate for their protection and development giving birth to Child Protection Clinic on Wheels, a roving vehicle fueled by passion and hope. It reaches out to every underserved child, families and communities most at risk of various types of abuse and exploitation. Every week, the sisters and social workers give values formations, educational seminar on children's rights and catechesis to empower them and guide them to become self-managing and responsible. Almost 10 or hanggang 15 years na siguro sila dito sa amin eh. Every weekend, nandito sila, nagbibigay ng mga lecture. Mga kabataan namin dito na na-involved sa Laura, nagbabago. Yung mga batang nakikita mo na nagsusugal, nawawala. Tinuruan po kami nila, sister, na maging malaya, katulad ng, for example, karapatan po namin mga kabataan na makapag-aral at maging magalang sa lahat. At natuturin po kami dito na magdasal. Good and right parenting is vital to a child's growth. All good values spring from whatever is seen and taught by the parents to the child. That is why Laura Vicuña Foundation saw the need to engage the parents in the welfare and education of their children through parents reject abuse, ignorance, and sexual exploitation, or PRACE, which is a spin-off of Parent Effectiveness Service, or PES. So, nag-test kami ni Nanay Nitz, nagpunta kami ng, nag-aral kami doon. Ayun, naalaman ko na yung bata pala, hindi mo siya pwedeng paluin na sobra-sobra kasi pwede siya magkaroon ng takot. At matututo na ako na kung paano ko siya, paano kung palakihin yung anak ko na hindi siya matatakot sa akin. 
ang PES po ay para po sa mga nanay na kasali po sa programa namin ng CPC. Meron po siyang manual na pinag-aaralan po namin para maituro po namin sa mga nanay. Ano po kasi yan, eight na Sundays na parang eight modules po. Lahat po ng mga nakaatin ng eight modules na yon gagraduate sila. Tapos po, sila po yung parang kasama namin magturo sa mga bagong nanay na dumadating. Another step to the journey of hope is to provide street children and marginalized youth their right to education, following the preventive system of education of Don Bosco. The Laura Vicuña Technology Centers in Manila, Victoria City in Negros Occidental, and Macarascas, Palawan, which offer viable options like vocational and technical courses for at-risk children and youth as a vehicle for harnessing their potentials as responsible members of society. From 1995 until now, talagang we cater to hundreds, thousands of young, young girls. Not only young girls, there are also young boys who are also enrolled in this technology center. Some of them were able to look for companies where they can have their work. Then afterwards, if they show really that they are really responsible and they are really capable of working in the different companies, then they are being absorbed. From Monday to Thursday lang po kasi yung klase namin. So, nag-aaral po kami kay Sister A. Kasi sana po CLE, Christian Living Education, tapos may values din po kami. English, business math, office tech, mga ganun po. One of the pressing concerns in the country is the engagement of children into the labor force, specifically in Negros Occidental, where child labor is prevalent. With the issue at hand, Laura Vicuña Foundation intensified its campaign against child labor through Community Mobilization for Education, or COM. It aims to capacitate community members and prevent further vulnerability of children and youth in sugar plantations from hard labor that further deprive them of education and development. Talagang pinuputan namin to yung mga students, nagbibigay po ng session pa, kasi para maproteksyonan po sila laban sa child trafficking, sa pangaabuso, at saka para rin sila po na um, empowered din po sila kung ano pong gagawin nila. So dapat talaga na yun ang maisip nila, na talagang bigyan nila ng importansya yung dignity nila and worth as a person. To build on the previous work of the Child Protection Clinic on Wheels and to unleash the potential of the young, Youth Helping Youth, or YEHE, through Follow Your Dream was created. Follow Your Dream instills in the young to pursue God's dream for each of them and become active Christian citizens in the society. Under it are two projects, the Boys Reject Abuse, Violence and Exploitation or I Am Brave and the Girls Reject Exploitation, Abuse and Trafficking or I Am Great. These projects focus on the roles of young girls and boys as advocates against any form of abuse in their respective communities. Dati po, nung kapag sumasama po ako sa mga barkada ko, nagtatambay, nandit-trip kami at nambababastos. Pero sa mga natunan ko ngayon, nang mali po pala yun. The way naman po nila yun ng pananamit, eh, oh, lifestyle nila yun. Kaya hindi po dapat sila i-judge at ipakita sa kanila yung tamang pagre-respeto na nararapat sa nila. During session kasi, sinabihan kami, halimbawa, nakaranas ka nung karasan, sino yung mga taong dapat mo na puntahan unang-una. Tapos, kung, dapat, kung sino yung mga taong dapat mong pagkakatiwalaan. Siguro, kung makaranas ako ng ganun, una-una kong puntahan kay God, mga magulang ko, saka yung teacher ko, um, tsaka yung mga kaibigan ko or best friends ko na sigurado ako na makakatulong talaga sa akin.
The CUM project promotes social protection, development, and empowerment by focusing on formal education program and alternative learning system, giving the children and the youth living in the sugarcane plantations educational opportunities so that they will become partners of change rather than mere beneficiaries. We listen to them individually. We cater to their needs from the physical, emotional, everything. At least our presence, maybe we could not talk to all of them all at the same time, but our presence, they see us, they know that they can approach us anytime, they can ask us. They feel that they are not alone. Nang dahil sa Laura Vicol niya, gintrain kami, at least para bang makapagsalita kami sa harap ng maraming tao na katulad namin din na mga magulang. Nag-advocacy din kami sa every asinda. Nag-child monitoring ako, especially sa mga children in conflict with the law. Getting children out of difficult, dangerous, and precarious work is not an easy task. That is why, as part of its journey, the foundation fostered partnerships with various institutions that helped the initial steps it has taken to secure a better future not only for the children of Negros Occidental, but for the protection and development of the country's Children of the Canes through national conferences. Here in Deep Ed, especially in the Division of Escalante City, we welcome partners for the good of our children, especially for the protection of our children. Nakahelp talaga yung, ano, yung advocacy doon sa mga school. May mga agent na pupunta dito in our provinces, yung mga bata. Hahanap lang daw sila ng pera, pupunta sila doon sa Manila, papasok na bilang kasambahay. At least aware lang sila baka kung pupunta sila doon, maano sila, matraffic sila. While other children enjoy the care of a complete family, many children are longing for the warmth and loving protection of a home. Laura Vicuña Foundation built a refuge for the sexually abused, exploited, and trafficked girls. This home will nurture and help them heal through psychosocial and spiritual interventions and regain their dignity and become responsible survivors. We provide them educational, yung education na nila. We provide them with their basic needs. May medical attentions din kami na binibigay sa kanila. Siyempre, napaka ano dito sa aming spiritual formation since na this is under the management of the sisters. Parang trademark ng Laura Vicuña. Still the sisters, no? Uh, Kung baga parang instill in them na yung pananalig sa Diyos is talagang nakakatulong for their healing. Sumula po nang dito ko parang Mayayain talaga po ako, parang nabil po dito yung yung confidence ko po. O sabi ng sister na hindi mo kasalanan yun ng yari sa yun sa nakaraan. Namin kasalanan yung gumawa. Kaya huwag kang may istak sa ganon dapat. Daanan mo lang huwag na tambayan kung bagan. Kundi dahil po sa kanila, hindi po ako magkabangon po siguro. Hindi ko po mabubong o sino po talaga ako. Hope shines through the years as Laura Vicuña Foundation earned various awards for its selfless devotion in helping children at risk and providing education to marginalized youth, among which is the STARS Impact Award for their exemplary work on child protection and empowerment. But beyond the recognitions, Laura Vicuña only aspires that these children will be able to weave their dreams again follow the plan of God in their lives, and become responsible citizens in their respective communities. Yung journey of hope ko po, buong buo. Kasi hindi ko naman po in-imagine na magiging teacher ako dahil lang sa nakaraan namin. Tinulungan nila kami mag mag-heal yung sugat na meron kami. Napakalaki pong tulong nun nabigay nila sa amin. And napakasaya po na maramdaman na Meron silang mga bata na kagaya namin na nagiging successful sa tulong nila. Nag-decide ang Laura Bicuña na ipadala ako ng Amerika. 
Nagrepresenta ko doon sa ano sa United Nation and then after noon, umuwi ako rito, pinagnursing ako ni Sister Marivic. Ayun, natapos ko, tapos pumasa na rin ako. Kung nasaan yung puso mo belong, babalik at babalik ka. Kasi doon ka magiging masaya. Kasi yun ang pamilya mo. The years that I have been here at Laura Vicuña Foundation, I can see that it is also a journey of hope for me. Uh, hope because I feel that I should be first in really strengthening my faith in persons, especially in the situations that they are. And I can see also that it is a growth in spiritual motherhood. The journey is really for me to, to listen to them, uh, to be with them and to accompany them in their growth process. We have to help our young people to have moral strength, to be discerning individuals, so that they will be able to choose always what is good, what is true and what is beautiful. So it's really convincing the children you know, that there is still something beautiful waiting for them. Laura Vicuña gives hope a home. In its almost three decades of existence, the Laura Vicuña Foundation has achieved more than it initially hoped for. Despite the challenges along the way, its journey took the foundation beyond the bounds of impossibility that enabled them to draw best practices, such as giving deep and personal knowledge of children and youth in their care, openness to a person's sacred space where the human and the divine become one, creating a family atmosphere that embraces the joyful celebration in the daily among the young and lay partners, positive belief and conviction in harnessing God-given potentials of children and youth, creative use of multidisciplinary approaches in keeping the children at the center of the Foundation's interventions, regular gathering of the former Vicunians or past pupils, partnerships, and empowerment of parents and relevant sectors, and lastly, institutionalization and added value to existing educational system. The Foundation looks forward to a future where young girls and boys seek to grow in truth, freedom, and participate in transforming the world into a civilization of justice and peace. Only then can we say that hope is now finally at home. <laughs>